Tomato Game by Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez. He is a lecturer at university called Transpacifica University in the U.S. He is writing to a man named Greg. In the letter, he tell about a colleague named Sopiyo Arimuhanan, whom he referred to as Sopi. Sopi is a lawyer. He called himself as importer-exporter of brides, that is, he makes agreement for people who wanted to get married. One day in the summertime, he and Sopi went to a tomato farm. At first, he thought that they were going to watch a cock fight, but soon he found out that they were meeting an old man who Sopi referred to as Lolo. This old man was arranged by Sopi to marry a young Filipina named Alice. In their agreement, the old man would take Alice as his wife and some young man named Tony as his nephew. Then the old man would send Tony to school. The conversation of Sophie and the old man. Everything ready, lo? Yeah, attorney. And this taxi driver boy, Tony, is he coming over too? Yeah, that was the agreement. I sent him to school like my son. Why I am knowing this kind of stuff? Alice is a hairdresser. She will be a great success here. Did you remember where we found her, Lolo? The old man remembered and his eyes were smiling. In the central market, she did have somebody who claimed to be an aunt or something sold trip and lever at the midsection. She wanted some money, did not she, Lolo? Yeah, that's what everyone asked, money. One real obstacle was Tony, and I had to get the papers though. Quite an hassle that part. It's all over now, isn't it, Lolo? Yeah, yeah. You will meet them at airport? Yeah. You have a school in mind for Tony Boy? Yeah. That's why I wanted you to meet my Lolo. Help might be needed in the area. You don't mean the Transpacifica, do you? $800 a year is what the package cost. The old man paid that in advance. I only work there. It is not my school. All right, all right. There is all the money and paid in advance too. So this nephew Bogos, though he might be, can came over. We are all in this. You understand? I felt terrible this time. The old man had trusted Sophie all along. And you could not believe that he had seen enough models of Tony before. As they drove down the road, the smell of ripe tomatoes keeps trailing them. The huge machine had made a poor job of gathering the harvest. And so here, Greg is perhaps the message.